amazing, yo. Just had a great meditation. Listen to my Shaolin master. Ah, oh, man. Today is going to be a nice day, man. Just here. Just taking a moment to being grateful for doing what I love to do. Have many recalls of who I am in the person in the past. Brighten up my future and taking my present to learn every day. Let that sink in for you for a minute. Having recalls from my past, brighten up my future in this present moment, learning and evolving each and every day. Sometimes we all get lost into the moments of relationships, people that we call friends and family and people that you think that have your back. And really you gotta look down and deep in your core and find a true meaning of what love is, what's true meaning of friendship, a true meaning of people caring about you and vice versa. Um, just have the willingness and mindfulness of your own emotion you can tap into and be the man that you want to be or be the woman that you want to be at the end, end of the day. So just giving myself that mind, that mindset that we are here to learn and be the best person that we can possibly be for the each and every day. I know I haven't been out of my bed yet, but uh, I need to get my ass up. I just feel like this meditation helps me clear my mind. It helps me to be honest with myself, caring for myself, putting the proper routine for myself to start my day and knowing that I'm on the right track of being the man that I need to be for myself, you know? Um, it's a beautiful thing when you see yourself evolve. Ugh evolve <laughs> oh man but uh yeah i just love myself so much more i love my peace of mind i love my mental where it is and i love the man that i'm becoming it's scary dog it is very scary um i just like this i like how i feel i like how i am I'm just so upfront and up real for myself. So uh, there's nothing to hide. There's nothing to shoot code or anything like that. I am healthy and wealthy. I am prosperity. I'm abundance. I am whole. I am a man of my word. I am trustworthy. I am honest with myself. I am caring for myself. I am compassionate with myself. I am loving myself. I am wise, I am emotional intelligent, I am loyal, I am vulnerable, I am zooming confidence, I am a money magnet. All these things that you have to say to yourself because this is what build who you are. This is what you're gonna build to be the person that you need to be. I am putting a safe boundary up to people that you wanna take advantage. There's nothing wrong putting on a boundary because you know your limitation. You know when people are stepping out of the line. You know that you have to protect yourself because there ain't nobody else that's going to protect you but you. So just remember that. Definitely tap into yourself and understand yourself. They forgot that self-caring is, is an actual thing. I just love doing the self-care. It's beautiful. It's early day. Why not take care of your skin? Why not feel confident and feel good about yourself? And knowing that the beginning of the day, you, you spend so much time to yourself, you write down and you give thanks and be grateful for every moment that you have. Because these moments, 
you don't want to let go. These are the moments that you want to be in your gratitude moment. So remember that. Be grateful for everything that you do have. You got a roof over your head. You're eating good food. You got the right person that's supporting you. You can be honest. You can be vulnerable with the loved ones. What else you cannot? You cannot lose. And you got a beautiful smile. You're a handsome. Ladies love you. What to lose? You're honest with yourself. What to lose? This is why I enjoy myself in the early day. I take my time to literally write down my thoughts, write down the affirmation of what I said to myself in the mirror, and really tap into my thoughts and what I'm feeling throughout this day or what I'm feeling from last night. You understand? So it's very very healthy to understand your emotion be mindful of your emotion because at the end of the day you are we all are human beings we're not a computer we live in a cycle as a computer because we do the things that we do every day you understand so i believe as a man and as a as you as a woman or man we don't get to talk about our feelings all the time. And this is the reason why I write down a lot of my my thoughts and my emotions, my affirmations on the journal because it makes me feel so much better. I feel liberated that I can have a clear conscience in my mind and I can move forward with my life and be the man that I need to be for myself and have integrity, being these type of principle, loving myself, having self-care of myself, being compassionate, romancing myself. It's a lot of those things too. So remember that. Take the moment of time and really understand who you who you are and what you're feeling because at the end of the day, it's only you in this world. When you have a partner, you're going to have to share those feelings. But that's why practicing that now while you're single and then when you get to your when you get with the partner you're a fully healed person and they're going to accept they're going to accept this from who you are now i just finished this amazing fruit salad just raspberry blueberries tangerines it was such amazing amazing talk if you guys haven't tapped into my eating show eat with patrick blackwood you guys are missing out you guys need to go ahead and tap in, which we talk about everything about vices, uh, spiritual growth, uh, everything, story time, whatever that goes through my mind, I'm going to speak my spill. You feel me? So, damn, my face and skin is clean, baby. Oh, woo! I see it. I see you. But anyway, yeah, tap into the Eat, Eat with Patrick Blackwood. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Share with your friends, share with your family. Also, I want to say thank you guys for just being at this adventure in Czech Republic with my main channel. It's such a blessing, such an, a great experience overall. Um, I haven't seen a lot yet. Um, eventually, I'm going to be going soon somewhere i don't know yet but we, we're gonna get there soon okay um but i'm gonna chill and relax and get my mind right i uh, watch some film and get ready for practice I had a really good conversation with my ex we spent about three hours on the phone just talking about good positive things and great techniques to handle uh certain situations that you can definitely have an output for by doing a lot of self-care for yourself because you get to see who you really are as a person and how much you love yourself and how much you care about yourself and how much you respect yourself that the other person what brings to the table will change you know so I told my ex, like, yo, I know what type of person she is. I know she is she a loving person. 
how much she brings to the table, how generous she is, and how much she do a lot of things in our kindness of our own heart. And we all people take advantage of that because we're so fucking unaware of our own thoughts and our own emotions and our own environment, how we've been treating. And when you have a person like that, it's tough to see these things. You get what I mean? So I told her just reevaluate herself by giving back to herself and re giving back her own power and her own energy by giving back that self caring process. A lot of people think that's very like stupid and not understand what it is. But if you really take the time to invest and really put that work in by doing the self care, the self love and romancing yourself and all that stuff, you really get to see the person who the person who they are. When you meet somebody, you can tell off rip. That's why I told you guys really stay into your own lane and really figure out who you are, what makes you upset Figure out what what trauma that you're dealing with. Understand how to cope with that trauma. Understand your emotions and really analyze who you are going who you're going to be in the present moment. Because if you don't do that, you're gonna always be stuck in that same position. I'm not saying that off of ignorance. I've been doing this for about 70 to 80 plus days. I see a lot of things. I see how people move and I don't even have to talk about it. Just be real with yourself. Be authentic with yourself. You'll be you'll feel so liberated. I'm telling you that. You won't put up with a lot of bullshit. For real. I had to decompress. Get my mind right for training. I got a couple minutes to get dressed. I am ready. So it's gonna be a good day. I'm training. I need to get my mind right. My leg is still a bit sore. But I'm not gonna go full throttle. I'm gonna keep myself nice and going for Sunday, because Sunday's a very important game. Televised. Um I choke on the last one. And this one is not I'm not gonna choke on this one. So I want to make sure I'm, I'm ready and set to go for this one. So I'm going to get myself right mentally, spiritually, and physically. And get ready for practice. I'm on my way to practice now. The taxi is here. Um, I'm getting ready to get myself going. We've got a big match today. Great practice today for a big match on Sunday. So we gotta get ourselves right, get our mind right. And I need to talk to offensive coordinators and see what they think and see where we can capitalize from doing the same mistakes, which we haven't really made really make a big mistake on the last game, but we gotta figure out a way to not have defense out there that long dealing with a high power offense. So we gotta minimize those mistakes. Just getting back from practice. It was a really good practice. Not much people didn't show up, but the work has been done. It's time to eat and relax my body and really read as well. So. That's what I really want to do. I want to wind down, read, and get some me time. You dig? So that's what I want to do. I want to say thank you guys for joining me. It's a wrap, y'all. I want to say I appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Love.